Hey guys, we made it. Fifth and final day of Interbike, September 20th, 2013. Today is a special day. Interbike by invitation, where shops get to bring some of their top, most loyal fans, participate in the event, cruise around, check out new bikes and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. It's like living in a bad dream where they only play Maroon 5 every day. I'm still not sure why they have these moving walkways if they're never turned on. Yes, I did this yesterday, and yes, I regretted it. I'm just gonna call it, the Luxor has a better buffet than the Excalibur. Mm. Wow, check that bike frame out. Hey Richard, Richard. What's this bike frame called? So have, a good, uh, have a good time, man. It's a Cherubim. Cherubim. What's the company? It's a Japanese. Check it out. This is all for the media. I should have come here sooner. Sweet. Calm before the storm. All you can hear is vacuums. There's no one here yet, but Seven Star Cycle. Looks like they've got kind of those standard mid-mounted lithium battery here. Front shock, just kind of a cruiser style bike. I've never heard of them before though. So check it out. I'm back at the OptiBike booth. They're bringing the other bikes out right now, but check this out. This is, I guess these are like prototypes here. It's kind of looking at this one. What What's the deal with the motor on that thing? That's a, um, it's a motorized bottom bracket, but the battery is built into the same casing. Wow. Which it lets you build a bike kind of however you want. Like for example, that is a Civia frame that we, we cut it up and welded in the bracket yeah. so we could make our own cargo bike That's but it awesome. is a prototype at this point it doesn't okay. run so i found that big big wheel kind of thing i've seen people sliding all around the conference and you actually designed <laughs> this so you're matt uh, arm brusture arm okay matt <laughs> sweet i designed the high roller the high roller size big wheel trikes awesome and so let me give you a little tour we'll start at the front tire let's do it 26 inch rubber front tire for traction yeah custom freewheel hub so you can coast while you're flying downhill. Sweet. Bell and tassels. Tassels? Standard. Oh my god, how did Standard I miss equipment. these? <laughs> cushy, uh, cushy seat. Yeah. Two inch diameter steel frame, holds up to 300 pounds. Nice. And of course, 14 inch plastic rear wheels for awesome power. Oh my gosh, when did this come out? When? How long? We got first deliveries in November of 12. Is there a website for this? Yes, sir. Highrollerusa.com. And wait, what's the price? What's the price? $5.99. $5.99. Uh, we're doing a deal. We can ship anywhere in the country for $99. Let me give you a power slot. Do it. Woo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Here's the Curry Tents. We got iZip, eFlow, and now the high bikes. I'm just going to walk through some of this. It's a new E3 Metro, the battery and the seat post. It's the E3 Peak. It's the one that's using their new proprietary mid-drive motor. The E-Flows. Interesting. New iZip Zuma. Actually, that's the old iZip Zuma. Yeah, the new one's got the uh, seat post battery. Of course, the high bikes. Super high-end using that Bosch system. Right there, beautiful. I still like the still like the shark fin look that I saw the other day. Checking out the green bike from Pete's Electric Bikes. That was pretty nice. So I was catching up with Dean again from Pete's Electrics and uh, this is their green bike. You can see it's just blank so you can put your logos and stuff all over it. It's got that mid-drive system and you know that's a really really good system if you're you're having to change flats or do service on a bike like this. So they use these for rentals and it sounds like they've got a bike share program in e-bike share. E-bike share program in uh, San Diego and you're you're looking at San Francisco and right. then some hotels and stuff like that. Where else will people see this? At our stores, so you can of course this is the rental that comes out of our stores, Boulder yeah. store, we have Santa Barbara, we have pop-ups around the country. Cool. Uh, we're growing our stores across across uh, of course across the country. We've had guys at this show though coming from Panama to as far away as Panama to try to see <laughs> You're this. Gonna ride this across the canal, guys. Well they see it as a beach opportunity. So rental <laughs> e-bikes are becoming the norm. Yeah. So being able to just check this thing out on the street with a with a simple key fob is just so simple. 
So I was just bringing the green bike back and I noticed the light was still on and I was like, Dean, should we turn that off? But he told me that actually the lights run off of this dynamo and they use a capacitor. So this stays bright for like five minutes after you park it so that if it's night and you're parking your bike, no one rear ends you from behind. I think that's really clever. That's a, that's a great idea. Oh yeah. Got Phoenix playing some music. Okay. <laughs> People are stoked on t-shirts over there. Into Turbo Bob again. You're saying you were trying to upload stuff last night too and it wasn't working? The night before. I didn't even bother trying last night. Yeah, that's so slow or not connected. Oh man. Where are you staying? Where are you at? Are you uh, sucking all the bandwidth? The Travel Lodge, okay. Yeah. Well, it took me an hour even to hook up. I had to get on the tech guy on the phone line to get hooked up to the internet. I'm glad it's working. I'm looking forward to all the, the updates and articles uh, from you. I'm going to go out and hop on uh, one of these Juice Riders ODK. This is the third version. I've actually reviewed one of these bikes before, but I guess this is the new one, and this you're like the one. founder of the company right founder, here? Founder of the company. Awesome. Uh, What's your name? Uh, Toro. Toro. Sorry, Toro Harris. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've been doing this kind of quietly, you know, for about four years. Uh -huh. And, you know, most people... They kind of never heard about us, but you know we're already on the third generation of our product. Yeah, it's uh, like a, it's kind of a cargo bike. It's or a something. cargo bike. Every day, every year, we you know we improving the product. Yeah. This year, we really we, we just took it like way out there, and we put everything into this bike. You know. So what's new? Tell me, tell me about the new okay. features. The, the the first thing we did was we increased the battery capacity. So now you're looking at. 48 volts, 22 amp hour. Oh so my we're, gosh! Yeah, it's we're like way the out there, <laughs> and uh, it's like double, more than double battery pack. And okay. What that allows you to do is, it keeps you on the bike. Is this a new color? Like, what colors do you have now? We have black, we have gray, and we have this blue, and they're all like flat colors. What about that green one? Didn't you have like a really? It was a really yeah, cool. Green was good. Green was the 2013 color, so okay. the 2014 is good. Look at I that mean, slick. So, so you basically you like put it in, lock it in place, right? And then you know you, you do the, the the twist lock. You can even have a you can even lock it with the key so nobody's stealing your seat. So simple, even a baby yeah. could even, do it. Even a baby could ride the <laughs> so show me the boxes. Look at this stuff. Okay, so now we have this accessory. Okay. It's a um, the bike that has this accessory is being is somebody took it for a ride. Cool. This is there's a, the gray. There's a there's a gray color. It's um, a cargo. You know, you put your stuff in, you pop, you can lock it to the bike, yep. or you can pull it away from your bike, or you can lock it on the bike and it locks. Cool. Okay, so, and now what is this, this thing here? This is crazy. We had this before. This is the, the delivery box. So this is if you got like breakfast tacos? And yeah, you're like, if you're uh, actually one of our dealers has this, uh, this they, they, let, they let the local taco place borrow this bike on the weekends and they get free tacos. Sweet. <laughs> so this <laughs> is, you can put your graphics and things like this on it. Well, Juice Riders. Juice Riders. Very totally cool. Totally improved, man. Hey, I saw this guy the other day. He's got a hurt foot and this funny little pusher thingy. I love these Stinger Snacks. Got them at REI. Oh, free samples. Yes. Woo! The E-Flows. I love that light. Check out all these colors. It's pretty sweet. I found the president of Curry. He's given me some background on what is called the eFlow Fit. And that's kind of play on words, I suppose, because it's a folding electric bike. You can fit it wherever you want, maybe your RV or your boat or something. But uh, yeah, 350 watt gearless direct drive hub motor with regenerative braking, all the same functionality that the other eFlow bikes have, including this cool display that like twists right off. Love it. Excited to see this. It sounds like it's going to be about $3,500. Hey, do you know how much this weighs, Larry? Uh, yeah, it weighs about 45 pounds, about 45 so it's pounds. considerably lighter than a full-size uh -huh. bike. Um, and, you know, it, 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 is, uh, it has the ability to fit a very small rider and yeah. also a very tall rider, yeah. uh, which is really nice. So a lot of times people share, you know, there's one bike and an RV or a, yeah. a trailer or, you know, a common bike for the household, and a lot of people use it. So um, really a fantastic bike, very high-quality it can fold if you'd like it to, um, or it can be just used as a compact bike. Oh, look um, forward to trying this one out. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so I am back at the Bionics booth. I'm still really curious about this bright green, like pizza-shaped motor here. And I've got Casey. He's going to give me the rundown. So what's what's new about this motor? Tell me how it works and what's going on. Well, what we're looking at here is our new D-series motor. 
cool. The D-Series motor would be uh, slightly heavier than our SL motor, but lighter than the original Bionics motor. Okay. Uh, the original motors were offering 10 Newton meters uh, nominal torque. This okay. one will be 25 Newton meters nominal torque. Oh, so torque. it's torquier. Yes, okay. much more powerful than the original motors. And the peak is higher as well. The original motors were set at 40 Newton meters yeah. at max. And this one will be 50 Newton meters max. And so, if we take a look at it, it's uh, got a lot more surface area on it as well. Yeah. So it'll be much more effective at absorbing and dissipating heat. Okay. Uh, so a much more efficient motor overall. And it looks like it leaves extra room for like a rear cassette and stuff. Is that? It true? is a cassette motor as well. Okay. Uh, also disc compatible. Interesting. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, we got the disc brake on the other side. It just, it's just really, really interesting how this is all set up. And I love the matching colors. Is this actually the color it's going to come in? or uh, A free can of spray paint with purchase. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Constantly looking for cool fenders for mountain bikes. I also love they've got these water bottle cages that are adjustable like in and out for small or large water bottles. I'm here with Rob, your product manager for Topeak. I do help a lot with all the different products for Topeak. It allows you to accommodate both 26 inch, 650B, and seven or 29 inch also. Wow. And therefore, the other nice thing too is in here, there's these zones right here that you see. And what that is, is one side is actually just a plastic insert from the top to the bottom. Uh -huh. And it's held in with one screw on one side, but it's meant to break away. It's the rear fenders that have multiple adjustable angles. This is a basically a little tripod. Yep. It's gonna articulate on an angle here. It's a dual density with a rigid plastic. Yeah. And then over here, you'll notice that this is a much softer. So oh, if you yeah. do hit Mud the flat. end, when you're swinging your leg over and stuff like that, it'll be flexible. It's also lighter weight. The reason I love these fenders so much is because we're getting more and more full suspension electric bikes. And uh, actually, that's one of the bikes that I've been riding to work and back every day. But it does rain occasionally, <laughs> and you don't want to you don't want to get wet. And depending on where your battery is, you don't want that to get wet. So I just think this is a cool option. These fenders actually look nice. Hello, Kyle. I'm at the A to B bike here and you guys like merged with Hero Eco, right? Yes, we were purchased by Hero and we became Hero Eco. Oh, okay. Purchased by Hero, became Hero Eco. I recognize a lot of these bikes. I've actually done some reviews on them. I, I used to ride the Metro and now what is the Octave? Correct. We've went right? through a whole rebranding this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. This means talk louder, by Got the way. Got it. I was like... Oh, um, <laughs> you're like, there is a plane up there. It's a helicopter. It's been... <laughs> Uh, buzzing everyone. So tell me, tell me like all the cool updates. Tell me the yes. best things. So we went through a whole rebranding that we're really excited about. Okay. Um, just as far as our logo, our new brand, yep. uh, new bike names. Metro is now the Octave. The Velocity is now the Alva. Yeah. And then got uh, the Kuo and too. The Kuo. First folding electric exactly. bike. Exactly. Uh, the Kuo is amazingly popular. People love that bike. Sweet. Light, small, but they can just the pedal assist allows. How much them to does go, it weigh, by the way? It's about forty-four pounds. About forty-four pounds. About forty-four pounds. Okay. As far as uh, the battery is removable, little 24 volt Panasonic battery, yep. really dependable. We have a uh, Wardell right there, and uh, my partner Parker, who's about 6'2", 180 pounds, both commute on these bikes. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Look at so that. He's got it all stretched he's out. He's got a lot of wind resistance there with that that fro. <laughs> he Love still it. makes it though. Yeah. He makes it yeah. because it's it. electrified. That's exactly. the it's a benefit. And I saw you the other day. How's the show been for you? You having fun? I get paid for it. You get paid for it. You guys got to pay I to don't. do it. I don't. I got to pay to be here, right? I, I, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong profession here. And I get paid for doing it. Sweet. Well, have a great day, man. You too. Thanks. I love that unit. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a great unit. <laughs> Stealth bomber. Super fast. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bob. How's it going? Woo! Dominating the track. <laughs> He's dominating the track. Love it. Lots of fun out here. In sunny Las Vegas at Interbike. It's amazing what you find out here just sitting around. Look at this thing. It's got a front shock, disc brakes, front and rear, and a solar panel. It's a scooter and it's a solar panel. It's got the same setup like a lot of Curry's bikes, like Pedego's bike. You just turn it on twist the throttle and go. It's even got a light. Wow. Look at that thing. It's got a 20 mile range, 15 mile per hour top speed, street legal, and uh, looks like it's less than two grand. And that is just, that is just cool. And it, look at it, the neck folds. Very cool. Facebook.com Solar Scooters Inc. is the URL I saw there. Check it out. There we go. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And people love bicycles so much, they even pedal in their sleep. This out, I found the Eco Rico folding electric scooter. This one's called the M3, and uh, it's got a top speed of 23 miles per hour. It's supposed to get 23 miles per charge and only take, what, a couple hours to charge this thing? Oh, look, yeah, and I love how, how low this thing gets. And it's got shocks. That's pretty it sweet. Does, it does. And, it, and I mean, it's relatively affordable. I heard you guys saying like 1100 bucks or whatever. Yeah, 1100 bucks. Let me just hop on. Can I, can I power yeah. it on? And... It's powered on. Takes about three seconds to power on. We've got okay. different modes here. Trip mode, which tells you how fast, um, how far you've gone. That's odometer okay. and speed. And you just pull the trigger and go. Yeah, let me just lift up the kickstand for you. Okay, here we now go. You got to give it a kick. That's the accelerator and that's the brake. Okay, so you got to start by kicking it. Yeah. And it's not working. What's going on? <laughs> here we go. Let's go. Hit. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. This thing is. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> want to test out the shocks. I don't know if that's the way to do it. This is kind of cool. TheChallengeSite.com. People or companies upload challenges, try to get you to do fun or interesting stuff. You create a video, upload it, get your friends to vote on it, and then you can win a prize or something like that. And then the coolest part is you get to meet this Crystal Thurman cute girl here and uh, get interviewed on the web. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. That's I mean, awesome. For the most part, that is the rundown of TCS. That's it. And what? look at this. You got a couple of things. Was, here, was this from uh, oh. from one of the challenges? Is no, that how that happened? No, this is actually from me. Uh, <laughs> I do downhill longboarding. Um, so if you don't longboard with pads on, you're It can end up like that. You can hurt yourself all kinds of nasty. So can you just tell me what's going on? What are you doing? I thought you waterproof. Yeah, these waterproof socks? Breathable. Okay. And they stretch and recover. They stretch and recover. And they last for years. They last for years too. Okay, well, interesting. So this would be ideal for like riding your bike in, in mud? Yes. Okay, how much do these Around retail for? 30. Around 40 to 45. 40 to 45 bucks. Depending what are they... on the weight, it might go up to 55. The weight in terms of like how warm how they are? How the thick they are. Okay. And also how high they come up. There's lower ones here. Interesting. Lower and lower. How much, uh, where can you get these? Where are they at? REI is the biggest retailer. REI? I love REI. Online. Okay, and, and again, what are they called? Like seal skins? Seals skins. Seals skins with a Z at the end. Okay. I found this booth, ledbylight.com. Check it out. They're like these LED light strips powered by a little lithium battery. And they pulsate. Oh, look at this. You can just charge it with like a USB charger like your phone. Sounds like these are 150 bucks, is that yeah, right? $150. And like 14 hours worth of... 14 hours gets you all the way through the night. And there's your pulsation going on right there. There we go, look at that. So you can imagine, you know, you're riding your bike at night, cruising around. That's a lot more. That's a lot more to catch people's attentions for safety. And that's it. This was the fifth day of Interbike. Battery's almost dead. I've been doing a ton of reviews, having a lot of fun. Always a good time. Tons of electric bikes to check out this year. And uh, I think I'll see you next year. Bye!